Good morning, guys. Last night I had sort of like a dry cough, so I just took some cough syrup. Anyways, I never used to understand why like people would take cough syrup. Um, I didn't understand what the sort of effects were, but I heard stories of people like getting high off it and whatnot. Well, I had a like allergic reaction to it, so you know, um, just the worst nightmare I've ever had um stuff like that uh woke up like in a complete sweat um and then this morning i couldn't open my left eye uh i can now that i've had a shower and it just feels like someone's like trying to pull my socket out of my uh, my eye socket out of my eye <sighs> it's just really not nice so just eating breakfast and then i might head on off to school um might not because i threw up and I don't want to do that while I'm in class. I came here to compliment you on getting rid of Seal's ass. If she's not back by the start of trial, I'm going to assume you want to be brought up on charges. I just thought that I'd give you this restraining order. Guys, if you haven't already, watch a TV show called Suits. That's what it was. It's the only TV show like I watch religiously. It's so good. Season 5 makes me want to cry. Guys, I severely underestimate just how much time, effort, commitment goes into making YouTube videos. I have serious respect for the content creators out there. Guys, I think I've made it quite clear that there's a lot of BS out there in the fitness industry. And one of my goals is sort of to, you know, clear up all the murky water, all the misunderstandings, um, and all the fallacies uh, just within the whole industry. Especially at a young age, misinformation can have really dangerous consequences. So guys, that's why I'm currently writing an ebook. It's all about basically your first month in the gym, everything you need to know. As I said, this is just another way for me to provide value, another thing I can do to, you know, play my part and really help out any anyone who's thinking of going to the gym and isn't sure how to go about it and how to start. All right, guys, so right now I'm looking into the effects of caffeine on training and specifically strength training. I'm like most people, I like to take some pre-workout before I get into the gym. It makes me feel like I can lift more weight. But I wanted to see if that was just a fallacy or whether that's really true because I've done a lot of research on caffeine um, while doing intermittent fasting and doing and its effects on um, uh, satiety, which is uh, how full you feel. Um, so it can blunt hunger and uh, also its effect on fat loss. Conversely, caffeine provides no tangible benefits for strength and power activities such as weightlifting. After looking at maybe, you know, 10, 10 studies over the last dozen years, I found that specifically for weight training, it has no effect physically. If you're feeling tired, it will wake you up. So mentally, you'll feel more prepared for the workout. But guys, physically, it has no difference. And when we're looking in terms of pre-workout, um, some pre-workouts also have some creatine in it. But guys, if you look at the back, what you'll see is something blend. So um, muscle gain blend or um, maximal strength blend, whatever. So what they're going to say is they have creatine in there and it's going to say something like um, 3.4 grams whatever, or 3.5 grams, whatever. And it's a blend. So it's going to be flour, creatine, and maybe something else. Of, the, of those 3.5 grams, it'll be maybe 3.4 um, flour and then maybe like 0 0.1 grams of, um, of actual creatine guys. So pre-workouts will not help you lift more weight. Creatine will, 
and caffeine will prepare, uh, prepare you mentally. But pre-workouts and caffeine on their own physically will not make you stronger. All right, guys, so today's squat every day, day 17. Um, I hit my PR yesterday, but my knees are just feeling so, so bad. So today I'm probably gonna go uh, five by three. Um, not too much volume, just really trying to keep my knees intact. Really low weight, um, and then I'll move on to my first day using the conjugate system. Really excited for that, starting off with four, uh, floor press. Floor press. I'm literally crawling to my goal of 30 days straight, uh, squatting, whatever I can do. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just praying that, you know, the injury doesn't continue because I really want to get this goal of 30, uh, 30 days squats and if it gets to the point where I can't squat anymore, I'm not going to take that risk. So guys, I am excited though. My first ever conjugate workout, uh, starting off with floor press. My gym really isn't made for the conjugate system because it has no power racks. That's the problem with like gyms in London, they're all like commercial. Um, so, you know, we're gonna do it on the squat rack actually. Uh, so I'll show you guys the clips. Guys, the uh, Lionhead racers are beautiful shoes, but they take forever to get on. If you're looking for a comfortable shoe, don't get them. They're beautiful, but they take forever to put on, and they're really not that comfortable. Oh, and third of all, you'll every moment you wear them, you'll think you're gonna rip them because they're like properly knitted with like stitching, like holes in between. So like you think you're gonna like snag it on something. <sighs> Such a worry. You do nine sets of three reps and you do it every minute or so, uh, quite short rests. Honestly, it feels really weird to begin with. Um, I got it set up so now that I, uh, so now I don't need a lift off, um, but definitely will need one once I go for, you know, my heavy upper day. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you guys with some more clips. So really just trying to get that, re-rack that as soon as I can. <clears throat> now I'm moving on to some uh, incline chest press. Basically with the conjugate system, after you do your main like power lifting variation, you do uh, accessory movements and that's basically just to tweak, you know, the faults in your lift. Um, you know, whether lockout is your problem or, um, you know, your upper chest is lagging so you can't lift the weight, um, you can't even get the weight off your chest. Whatever it is, you work on it. So I know my upper chest um, and my triceps are the two main areas that I need to improve. So um, basically now it's just three, four movements with, um, yeah, three or four movements uh, and then four sets, 12 reps for all of them. Pretty much bodybuilding.
you have good workouts and you have bad workouts and then you have workouts where all you want to do is get out of there and today was one of those days I'm feeling really really bad my um my knees my shoulders and my wrist are in so much pain guys I take so much pride in the fact that I usually I'm like very responsible in the way I lift and whatnot and today wasn't or yesterday one wasn't one of those cases and from yesterday I've picked up a knee and shoulder injury just from being irresponsible I'm really not happy about that it's easier to think in times like these that you're useless you're worthless <laughs> you're undisciplined, you can't push past challenges. But guys, everyone has off days, bad days. Honestly, I can say that today, I mean, I was sick, um, but I genuinely got nothing done, or at least very little done, and that's not something I'm proud of. I think it's important to still be able to push past obstacles like that and make sure you're getting everything done daily, which you need to. But you are gonna have days like these guys and don't beat yourself up about it reflect on the day think about why it happened and then move on and make sure tomorrow is a really really great day and you make up for everything that's happened today so that's exactly what i'm planning on doing i'm just gonna go home reflect on today and set all my goals and my to-dos for tomorrow and tomorrow i'm gonna crush it Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, I'm a power lifter, guys. <laughs> um, uh, when I put uh, like day in the life of a bodybuilder, um, guys, I'm not a, like I don't consider myself a bodybuilder. I don't consider myself a power lifter now. It's just a way to sort of class myself so people know what to expect from the video. I don't consider myself a bodybuilder. I don't consider myself a power lifter. But uh, I think I'm gonna call this series um, conjugate power lifting, just so people know what it is. And I'll talk about the conjugate system a lot more in uh, future videos. So, I've been talking enough now. Um, vlog over.